What's up, guys? It's Raph. And Raph came. And welcome back to another reaction to a movie I just saw Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Just got home from the theater. What an amazing, incredible culmination of the Star Wars saga to end. It's fantastic. So much to process, guys. The feels I got from this movie. The nostalgia I got from this movie. Incredible. I'm thinking this movie is my top two to three of the entire What's up, Rafke fans? I'm here with my son Rex. We're about to go to AMC IMAX and check out Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Let's get it. Now the theater I went to is IMAX. <clears throat> pretty, pretty packed, pretty packed. Problem was the seats weren't the nice reclining seats. They were the old school seats, so that sucked. Very cramped in there. Nothing like the Rafke experience. But IMAX screen was large, it was bold, it looked great. The sound in that theater was only 5.1. But I know this movie was recorded with audio that's going to blow away our systems. Dolby Atmos, incredible. There's going to be effects all over the room. It's going to be demo worthy for a ton of scenes, I promise. Definitely going to buy this movie, have it at home. Now, my man Kylo, this dude right here is a bad mofo. What's great about this movie is it it's like the arc of Kylo is fulfilled. I loved it. From Force Awakens meeting this guy to part nine where he ends up. Amazing, amazing journey. Fantastic. It's the man right here. Ben Solo. Man, everything I wanted to see in this movie as as to be entertained, getting my money's worth on this on the ticket I purchased fantastic covered it in spades i got my lightsaber battles which i love i got my lightsaber battles in spades I, it was wonderful many lightsaber battles fantastic i got all the characters i wanted to see a great ending to a few characters that you'll see music was awesome very nostalgic music of the empire and all these things coming together new and old Action was amazing. The CG, the effects, awesome. The sound, like I said, top notch. It's going to be killer. It was just basically everything was hyped up. Everything was, it's like, it's like going through the previous movies to this. This is like taking it to the next level, just hyping up everything. It's just awesome, man. It's just awesome. Poe, Finn, Ray, all great. C-3PO, all great. Chewie, all great, man. All great stuff. This movie you got to see a couple times. There is so much stuff in this movie. The Emperor. Mm. Awesome. Right from the gate, right from the opening gate, whoo, thrust you into what's going on, and then it just takes off. Now, there's a few moments story-wise and everything else, but that's fine. This is only a two-and-a-half-hour movie. Didn't feel like it. Flowed really nicely. That was awesome, guys. You'll find out Ray's parents. You'll find out who she is, which I had a feeling. I don't, usually don't do spoilers, but I'm going to do spoilers pretty soon here. So I'll let you know when I'm going to start talking about spoilers. But guys, check this movie out. Don't worry about Twitter. Don't worry about Rotten Tomatoes. Go see this movie. If you're a Star Wars fan, you'll get your money's worth in this movie. Guaranteed, man. Check it out, guys. I loved it. Threw some, two thumbs up. I'd see it again. I can't wait to experience it in the Raft Cave. Many scenes are going to be incredible. Ooh, awesome. I got what I wanted, and I enjoyed it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this non-spoiler reaction. Definitely go check it out. Spoilers. I'm talking spoilers now. Man, seeing Palpatine, seeing the Emperor, that was crazy. He looked menacing, mean. The voice was awesome. He looked great. 
and where he was hiding, where he was hiding, where his base was. It was crazy, man. Lightning everywhere, dark, gloomy, complete Sith all over that place. And the empire that he's building, all the destroyers, he wasn't messing around. He, he knew that this, if things went his way, if Rey was going to take over, it'd be over. That's it. There's no more rebellion and, 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 and all that stuff. It would have been over because what he was planning, there's nothing you can stop that. We're talking about, then we're talking spoilers. We're talking about Star Destroyers with planet-killing cannons on each one. And we're talking at least 50 to 60 Star Destroyers that were ready to be deployed throughout the galaxy. Man. Oh, there's so much, guys. Spoilers, there's so much, guys. Man, oh, man. Phew. I'm not really good at spoilers, but I'll just say a few things. If you guys want to know, if you're still here, you want to know who Rey is? She is the granddaughter of Palpatine. She's the Emperor's granddaughter. She has all the power of Palpatine. We're talking lightning, which, by the way, when she find out she can do lightning of her powers, oh, man, that was a moment. Man, there's so many action scenes, guys. I'm telling you guys, go see this movie. It's awesome. Uh, Leia, you know that Leia passes, of course. That's a sad moment. Uh, R2-D2, the thing he had to go through to get, uh, you know, you'll find out why. Well, since we're talking spoilers. He has his memory wiped in order to translate the Sith code. But he gets it back, gets his memory back at the end, thank goodness. Because it's just like from the very beginning of New Hope. He was just like that. It's crazy. Um... Man, Kylo, my man, Ben Solo, like I was saying about his journey, he becomes good. He sees his father, Han. Han returns, and there's a moment with Han and Ben. It was fantastic. He became a normal Skywalker Solo. Good dude, good dude right here. As far as force powers go, guys, this movie takes force powers to the next level. I loved it. We're talking about holding ships in the air. We're talking about flipping and all these acrobatics that, that Ray can do. Awesome stuff, guys. The stunts in this movie were great. Power of, like, healing in this movie. Just crazy stuff, guys. If you're still here, thank you. But I, I, I'm just like, there's so much to talk about in this movie. You got to see it twice or three times because I... I there's so much going on in my head to try to pick little things. There's so many of them. There's so many things to just talk about because of nostalgia. Everything in this movie. J.J. Abrams, bravo, man. Bringing all the feels that we loved about Skywalker uh, films into this movie and wrapping it up with a nice bow to give it to us. Thank you, J.J. You did a great job. Loved it. Man, this movie is great. Lando Calrissian, how great was it to see him again? Man, it was so good. All the new creatures and all the new worlds they go to. Good stuff. Millennium Falcon, of course. Amazing. Amazing stuff. You got to hear all the different Jedi throughout the movies. You know, culmination of, to help out Rey was amazing. So much stuff, guys. I'm going to end it here, guys. But thanks for watching this uh, reaction. Guys, go see it. I loved it. I'm very impressed. Got my money's worth. And I can't wait to see it again. The Emperor... Palpatine, seeing him get all his power back, seeing his lightning effects, learning about Dark Ray. Man, Dark Ray. Whew. Now that scene you saw in the trailers when she was dark, that was what she was supposed to become and take over. Take over the Emperor's chair and become the Empress of the Sith to rule everyone. But that never happened, right? Yes. Because Rey's a Jedi. She's the last Skywalker. It's awesome, guys. Great movie. See, little things popping up that I'm talking about with you guys. It's just so much to talk about. I love this movie, man. It's so cool. Man, the action was fantastic. Go see it, guys. Don't worry about the critics. You hand the money in. You get your ticket. You sit down, popcorn, and enjoy an amazing Star Wars experience. A Star Wars movie that'll knock your socks off. Loved it. Wish I had a lightsaber, man. Things are so awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this. You guys have a great day. Enjoy Star Wars this weekend. May the Force be with you. 
Home theater rules. Raph out. See ya. Thank you.